Sure. I am. It doesn't take being part of a generation who grew up with smartphones, social networks and surfing the web to be making the most of life online. One example of a growing number of apps and websites aimed at the older market is Stitch, which has been referred to as Tinder for the over 50s. Nicole met her partner a few months ago using the app. I think within about two days I'd stitched with someone, uh, which meant that we'd both seen each other's profiles and we both liked each other. That meant we could then talk to each other via a messaging service on there. And we started messaging and then we ran each other on Christmas Eve to see how we would get along speaking on the phone. And of course, there's always a little bit of anxiety, I'm sure, when you meet someone you haven't met before. But there is a sort of verification process with this app, isn't there, that doesn't exist with all dating sites? Yes, when you join to be a, a verified member, you have to show that you've got another profile somewhere else on Facebook or on LinkedIn. So you've got that little bit of security there that uh, the person is a real person. And there is a stricter level of ID checking to become what they call a trusted member. But for Nicole, the app overcame one of her great irritations. Well, Stitch is for over 50s. The major thing with other dating websites is that the men generally seem to want women who are about 20 or 30 years younger than themselves. At least if you go on to Stitch, you know that everyone's going to be over 50. You're also actually meeting up with some other people that you've met as a community through the app, haven't you? That's right. Since um, I've met the person that I'm now seeing, I've, I've changed my profile, so I don't see uh, people who are looking for dates now, um, but I can still see people that want to be friends, and I can also join in the discussions, the book groups, um, and the different forums. So we decided it might be quite fun to actually meet. And uh, so we're planning a trip to Vegas in June or July. And here's something aimed at older adults who've spoken